In the Base Linker warehouse system, you can at any point turn on the strict storage control. The strict storage control means that any action performed in the warehouse, for example, adding a new product, removing a product, or processing an order will generate specific warehouse documentation, bundle. All of this documentation will be collected in one place. Turning on a strict storage control will additionally block the ability to change stock levels manually. To change the quantity of a product, you'll have to process a PO. The PO tool is also in the Warehouse tab. To turn the strict storage control on, you have to go to Products tab and click on Settings. In the Inventories tab, you can see information about all of your inventories. You can turn on the strict storage control in each one of them separately. To do so, click on the three dots on the right-hand side and then Edit Inventory. Here at the very bottom, we change the storage document's strict control from No to Yes. You must remember that for this setting to work properly, you have to have an SKU number linked to every single product in that inventory. If there is even a single SKU missing, you won't be able to turn this option on at all. So we change the setting to Yes and click Save. The strict storage control has now been switched on for this inventory. Now in the Inventory Control tab, we'll be able to see all of our documents. Here we have Purchase Orders, Storage Documents, where the first document will always be the opening balance. Then we have Stock Takes as well as numbering series of our warehouse documents currently available in our warehouse. Additionally, right here we have our printout templates. Remember that the templates for warehouse documents, purchase orders, and stock takes are organized separately. The warehouse documents available to us are visible right here. Every action performed in the Baselinker warehouse will result in generating a relevant storage document. To edit a selected document, you simply click on the pen icon on the right-hand side. Here you have all the document information. You can change its name, you can change its numbering format, as well as all the other information. Just as you can edit the warehouse documents, you can also create your own documents, add a new printout. To add a warehouse printout, go to the Printout Templates tab and click here on Add Printout Template. The printout can be a CSV, HTML, PDF, text, or XML format. Into this space here, using HTML code, you add relevant information from pre-selected warehouse sections visible up here. So from warehouse information, product information, as well as documents. Here, just like creating any other document, by using tags visible on the left and adding those to the HTML code, you can create your own bespoke warehouse printouts. Let's add a new PO then and see how a new warehouse document gets created. Let's add an order, then add a product to our order. Let's choose the relevant inventory, add our product, confirm our order so that it's not just reserved, but completed. And now, let's go back to our storage document list. As you can see, a new document has been created right here. This document is related to a specific order number. We have the order information right here, and the document is ready. We can edit this document. We have information here on what was purchased, all the information about our order. Additionally, on the product list, if we go into products, we can see by each product all the documents created for each order. In this case, we can see the document which was created when the purchase order was confirmed, as well as all the documents which are generated automatically if the strict storage control is turned on.